what is going on guys welcome back to another video my name is jeremy and this is jeremy's wild world so you guys probably saw from today's title today we're going to be doing a review video for ants hq so if you guys don't know who ants hq are they're a fantastic company here in the uk specializing in all things ants from providing the founding queens and their workers to food for the ants as well as housing um, they're a fantastic company if you haven't checked them out already and you're looking to get into ants or if you keep ants already do be sure to check out the links down in the description below so I've been working with Caesar for a number of years now and he's given me a fantastic opportunity for you guys to check out their brand new Mameko line which is the Mameko Nanos. Now these are fantastic for setting up a founding colony and then upgrading them into the big enclosure you can see up here. These two aren't currently in use but I do have one set up back here which is set up for my Campanotus Maculatus colony which is going strong. Now I'm really excited to review this product and do be sure to check out the end of the video to see how the ants have settled in. Uh, but do be sure to check out the entire thing from unboxing to setting up the um, enclosures and yeah so before we get into today's video guys i just want to quickly say that according to my youtube statistics a lot of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed so if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content now without further ado let's get into unboxing these fantastic mameko nano founding setups all right, you guys, so welcome to today's video where I'm really excited to be working with Ants HQ to do a review style video. Today, I'm going to be discussing the new product release from their Mameko line, which is the Mameko Nano Founding Queen Chambers. Now, as the name states, these are specifically made for your founding colonies, uh, whether it's a queen with eggs and or a queen with nanitics, which the nanitics being the first founding workers uh, for her colony. So I was reached out by Caesar to make a review style video, basically discussing what I think about these enclosures. Uh, for me, I'm really excited to review them because I've been looking for something like this for a while now. Um, I have been keeping ants and typically when you have a founding colony, you keep them in a test tube or you keep them in a test tube connected to an outworld. Um, but this is like a full setup with the outworld and nest together. So I'm really excited to get this all set up uh, for you guys. Uh, just to let you know, uh, this is going to be a uh, video where I've been sent all of the products for free. I didn't pay for any of them, but today is not a sponsored video from Hans HQ. Uh, just been sent the products to review and I'm really excited to do so. So nevertheless, let's stop the chit chat and get cracking into this box. As you see, this says number one. This is box one of two. I have been sent two different species, two different setups. Uh, but yeah, so I'm really excited to crack into it. As you see, live sticker here. This is a nice touch um, here actually, saying what's inside. Um, of course, fragile tape, which is always good. And yeah, so let's just crack into it. Really excited to review this stuff. And you know, it's been a pleasure working with Caesar for the past few years, and I'm looking forward to doing many more videos for him in the future. Uh, but yeah, so cracking into the box. Let's have a look here. So, ooh, looks to be very well packed. I dropped one of them, but do be sure to check out Ants HQ. All of that information will be down in the description below, as you can see here. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, quite local to me as well. Um, I'm near the London area, so it's quite cool to see. And yeah, here is some promotional posters. As you can see, QR code here to scan for you guys. Join a community. And also, this is really cool. Do be sure to check out um, uh, the Halloween Invert Show in Mildenhall, sponsored by Spa Spiders. Uh, I will be attending their trading there. So if you guys are going to the show, make sure to go there as well. Um, but yeah, so... Ah, lovely. So this is going to be the Myrmacosticus, Costicus, uh, Mimicus, which is the um, uh, honeypot ants. So this is the first of the two species I asked for. Uh, really, really cool packaging. As you can see, really, really well secured. Uh, but yeah, so let's just dig into here and have a look. So first of all, you can see here, this is how the Myrmico Nano will come up to you guys if you decide to order one down here as you can see so yeah as you can see here so this is where the queen will situate herself um, this mimics the uh, founding chambers that they'll dig in the wild and then this is will be the outworld where the ants will uh, climb out care the food gather water and dispose of waste yeah so here are all of the instructions here as you can see i will be doing most of this on camera uh, but yeah so this is what the uh, kit includes the myrmico nanoformicarium hydration syringe non-slip feet so bait i think uh, that's just to secure it onto a table the red acrylic which um basically goes on pretty much all the antical enclosures where red light doesn't affect them so you can watch them without them getting stressed out and then the two expansion portals and some instructions as well so yeah that's the mambico ant nest right in there and then let's see here so these 
this is the ant queen right here the honeypot ants something i've been wanting for a while um i was really excited when he said i could try them out and then he also sent me some of this awesome uh nectar so this is a formula that they sell i believe they have two flavors at the moment um, this won't be used specifically today i might include it in the other founding colony that i'm receiving today uh, but this will mainly go to my uh, campanotus maculatus which are my african sugar ants they'll definitely appreciate this um yeah thank you very much caesar so that's pretty much the contents of the first box again high package really really well um but yeah so i will show the queen off after i unbox the other one as well just want to make sure everything's all arrived okay and yeah so that's box number one let's get into box number two so the awesome packaging from box number one we can now swiftly move on to box number two uh, no chit chat needed here guys i'm just gonna go cracking straight into it um i have to say very very impressed with caesar's packing um really really like the insulation foam and the live animals on the side kind of reminds me of like how they pack in america where they have to have these stickers on the side and everything uh, but yeah very very impressive packaging uh, let's just break into this wish i had my knife but i have misplaced it lovely again same little bits and bobs in here and then this is a species that's going to be in this box, which is the Campanotus fragilis. Uh, this is not a species I kept before. Uh, I do like the Campanotus genus. I think they're a great beginner species. So that's why I decided to choose this as well as the uh, honeypot ant. Uh, so I have a bit of a balance of both a difficult species and an easier species to care for. Dokey, lovely, looks like. The colony is here. Don't worry, I'll be doing a clip just after this, uh, showcasing both species uh, of ants. Then once, oops, didn't mean to knock the camera there. Once again, here is the Mameco Nano. I really do like the packaging on this. Looks absolutely awesome. Cannot wait to get these out of the box and try them out. I do believe, oh, lovely. You sent me another flavor. So yeah, like I said about the nectar, there's two flavors out at the moment, um, the green and the yellow. Uh, so really, really excited to try this out and see how the ants enjoy it. And yeah, so that is basically both boxes unboxed. Let's get a clip of showcasing the queens and we'll unbox the Momeko Nano setup. All right, so now that you guys have seen the box unboxed, I just wanted to quickly show off the queens. So from the previous clip, this is the Campanotus fragilis. Now, I really do like that they include the bubble wrapping to make sure that the queen isn't bounced around too much um, and secured down by tape, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's see if I can either peel this off or just pull the thing out. I'll just, just, just rip it. I think that's easier. Take a look at that. Fantastic packaging. Here they are. Right here. So it looks like we've just got one in the tick, a cocoon, and some eggs as well. This is a really, really pretty species. I've not actually seen the species before. Uh, but it's really cool to have... Oh, it looks like you've got some... Uh, uh, is that sand in the back? Yeah, it looks like sand. But yeah, got a couple eggs, uh, got the larvae and the pupa. So it's quite cool to see all the stages of workers, actually. So yeah, you get the eggs, you get the larvae, then the larvae turn into cocoons, then the nintetic, and then the gorgeous queen right here. So that is the Campanotus fragilis right here. And then we also have the honeypot ant queen, which is the M... Mimicus, as you can see, this is just a queen with some eggs. Looks like quite a few eggs, which is really, really cool. Um, a smaller species, I believe, within the genus. Um, there are a few that are available in the hobby, but I'm really happy to be able to finally have a ant honeypot ant uh, species in my collection. You guys have probably seen in the background multiple times with the honey, uh, sorry, the not the honeypot ants, the leaf cutter ants, which are doing fantastic with me. And they're known to be quite tricky as well. So I said to Caesar, let's give these a go uh, with the setups. And yeah, so those are my two queens. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to put them in the dark for a little while, just while I showcase unboxing the Mameco Nano setups. And then we'll get the rehoused into their setups. So yeah, let's get into unboxing one of the Mameco Nano Qs. All right, guys, so now we're going to be setting up one of these SATA setups. What I'll be doing is setting one up on camera, the other one off camera, and then I will attach the test tubes to the nests and hopefully get these queens moved over off camera as well, because that can be quite a stressful process for the queens. Uh, but yeah, so let's just get right into the box. Let's have a look here. I believe, yes, this is the same poster that comes uh, that came in the box, basically showing them all of the social medias that you guys can check out. 
uh, TikTok, Instagram. I think that's a barcode right there. I'll take you to all of that there. Uh, but yeah, that's really, really cool. So let's have a look inside the box. Got some packing peanuts in here. Ooh, lovely. So this is the test tube adapter. So this will connect the outworld to the, uh, sorry, the nest to the test tube to allow the queen to move over. Uh, this is a little feeding dish, jelly pot, and looks like a little spanner in here as well. Awesome. Got ourselves a syringe here as well, which will be used to put water into the setup to keep humidity within the nest. Uh, obviously, the setup, as you can see right here. And then, looks like I got a little bit, a little um, blunt needle as well. Uh, that's obviously to put the water inside of the nest. There's everything inside. But yeah, so let's have a look here. Uh, uh oh. Get some scissors, cut this bubble wrap off. But yeah, these look absolutely amazing. Good friend of mine, Chris from Chris Hell Art and Animals Addicted. Addictive. Um, did also get this set up for a Campanotus Nicobarensis colony, I believe. Very well wrapped. Looks like there is a little bit of sand in there as well. Cool. All right, so that is the lid. Let's have a look at the instructions. So first of all, you got to start off by peeling off the protective layers. So I'll do that with the top lid first. Quickly, there we go. Keep that on there so it doesn't get dirty. Peeling off the acrylic protectors. I have to say, off the bat, this looks absolutely fantastic. Um, looks like just like the Mameco that I have. I believe it's the Mameco 2s that I have. I have three of those, which I uh, have been using for a couple of years now. Oh, that's nice there as well. Look at that. Little Ant HQ logo. Awesome. So this is where you can put water in, I believe. Oh no, down here. So put that water down here. This is an entrance into the nest. So if you want to connect this to another uh, colony at some point, this is the red acrylic to prevent them from getting upset. And I believe this goes here or not. Oh, okay. Always fun to figure things out. Lovely. Peel that off. Put it here. And there we go. So that will allow you to basically watch the ants, uh, but the ants can't see the light, so they don't get stressed out. It mimics being them underground. Um, and I need to figure out what this piece of crit does. Uh, I'm not too sure where it goes. It might go, I don't know if it goes on top, if I have to take the screws off. I think I have to take the screws off and then attach it on top. Uh, but yeah, so I'll figure that off camera. And once I do, I will show you the finished product and then I'll connect one of the colonies to the setup. All right, you guys. So now that I've fully set up the Mameco Nano Nest off of camera, I can go into detail about the different components of the enclosure. So basically what you had to do to put this viewing panel on was unscrew these four corners uh, with the spanner and then lock it into place. This clear acrylic allows you to take off the red acrylic and have a nice clear view of the colony inside. And the red acrylic prevents light from going inside that they can see, so it mimics them being underground. Um, so off the bat, I really like this. You know, it definitely does mimic a founding chamber. Um, and the little stairwell to the top outworld allows the ants to climb out and dispose of their rubbish. As you can see inside as well, it does have some loose sand. Uh, so if you guys wanted to have a species such as Odontomachus, which require um, substrate to weave their cocoons, uh, other species do that as well. Um, this this Mameco setup is really good because they can either use the loose stuff ready or chew at this stuff down here uh, to allow the uh, larvae to pupate properly. Now I have put the water dish in here, but or feeding dish even, I haven't put anything in it obviously because there's no ants in here yet. Uh, you can see the water chamber just down below, I'll fill that up momentarily, you can see the syringe is ready. Um, and I have also put the PTFE barrier on the top, which will prevent the ants from being able to climb out of the lid when I do open it like so. And yeah, so what do I think of it? I think it's absolutely fantastic. Aesthetically, it looks amazing, and I think it's going to be really good for the ants. 
because I already use the um, Mameko uh, enclosures, the larger ones, I think this is going to be just as good. Uh, but yeah, so basically with the water chamber, all you really want to do is just get a uh, syringe, fill it up with some uh, bottled water. I personally use bottled water rather than tap water. You can use it, um, but you know, with the chemicals in it, I'd rather not, so I use bottled water. All you got to do is stick the needle inside and then fill it up a little bit. So this allows the nest to stay humid, as well as if you do overflow it, it can humidify the nest as well. Um, so yeah, now all we have to do is connect the ants to the outworld uh, using this little piece right here. So what you've got to do is just take out the little plunge here, connect this inside like so, and then connect your test tube. And hopefully this will encourage the queen to go inside like so. So this is really, really cool. You know, sometimes you do struggle with um, getting the queens into these kind of setups, but with this uh, being able to connect the test tube into it, uh, you can also leave this here as well if you didn't want to do um, push forcing them inside. Uh, but what I'll do is uh, do this for both setups. And once the queens have settled in, I will cut back probably in a week or so, give you guys an update and my feelings on these enclosures. But so far, I'm really impressed. Again, a massive shout out to Ant HQ for allowing me to work with them with this enclosure. I think it's a fantastic idea and I will definitely be pushing this for people who come to me asking what kind of setup would you suggest for a founding queen. So yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit once the queens are inside and settled in and then we'll discuss what I think about the Momoko Ant Nest Nano version. Alright you guys, so it's just been over a week since moving these beautiful queens into their new enclosures. As you can see, I did decide to put food in each one. Um, so far, the Myrmecosticus Mimicus queen has not come out to forage, um, but the worker for the Campanotus fragilis has come out and had a little bit of food and has given it to the queen also. So let's take off the red acrylic and discuss what's been going on. So starting off with the Campanotus fragilis, as you can see right here, the queen is looking really chunky. Uh, the brew pile has increased from two eggs to a couple more. Unfortunately, I did lose one of the larvae, but the other larvae has pupated now. So hopefully that becomes another uh, worker. But you can see the worker here is doing really, really well. Um, abdomen's nice and plump from feeding on the um, food that I've been giving to them that was provided by Ant HQ. I've been giving both the green and the yellow flavor and seems to be a um, treat for both flavors. And then we have the Myrmecosticus mimicus. So she has lost a couple eggs, uh, but you can see she's starting to stick the eggs around the enclosure as well. Uh, it's a little bit humid in here as I just did top up the water, but she seems to be doing quite well as well. So nothing too exciting with that. No larvae as of yet, but got a lot of eggs that are spread throughout the enclosures. And I've been really impressed with both of them. And I'm so excited to see these colonies uh, do well in my care. I will obviously be doing an update for you guys, but yeah, so that is pretty much the weekly update. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let's get into the outro and end today's video also. So that pretty much wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing me setting up and how the ants are doing in these Mameko Nano setups. I highly do recommend checking them out if you guys are interested in setting up an ant colony and you'd rather have them in a display enclosure than in comparison to a test tube setup. Really, really fantastic. You know, just like the Mamekos, as you can see back here, 
uh, just there. Uh, they're really, really good quality, and I'm really excited to be able to share this with you guys so you guys can check it out if you guys are wanting to get a founding colony of ants for yourself. So that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I really appreciate it. If you would, click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. I'd also really appreciate if you guys would follow me on my social media, Jeremy's Wild World underscore on Instagram and Jeremy's Wild World on Facebook. I'm really active on there, posting pictures and videos and animals and events I keep when I don't upload on YouTube. And one final thing, if you guys are looking for quality acrylic enclosures, do be sure to check out my link to Arachnashack down below using my code JWW10. That'll get you 10% off of your order and it gives me a little bit of compensation back to me. I know it should cost for you guys, so it's a great way to support the channel. So that's all from me today, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.